Hi guys, today in the kitchen it is all about healthy eating because I am joined by a very special guest, the wonderful Susan Jane White. <laughs> you are the author of the brilliant The Extra Virgin Kitchen, a wonderful healthy eating cookbook. What is it about healthy eating that you love so oh, much? Oh, thank you. Well, you know what it is? I just like turning my pesky sugar cravings into a nutritional slam dunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm up for a nutritional yeah. slam dunk. All right. Great, great, great. Well, I want to make a raw chocolate fudge with you today. It's still got the sweet but it comes from date syrup instead of white sugar and I think that's really exciting. And I want to walk you through the ingredients okay, okay. and share them with all your subscribers. Fantastic, you'll this love this. You're going to love this. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, we're going to um, add some extra virgin coconut oil, okay. which, like butter, is solid at room temperature. Right. So you have to melt it for the recipes. Okay. Now, all the exact measurements are on your site, of course. Um, you can check it out in the box below if you want to check out the recipe. I'm going to get you to stir that with a nice fork, please. Fork, okay. Maybe some sea salt, because sea salt and chocolate is just alarmingly good. And is that wonderful mixture of, of saltiness with a little bit of sweetness, it just kind of works. I'm going to add in some sweetener now. Okay. Um, and uh, this is why I like a whole sweetener, because it has extra minerals that white sugar and brown sugar just do not boast. Okay, okay. So let me squeeze this in here. Then a little bit of vanilla essence. You can use cocoa powder. I'm going to use roasted carrot powder. It has hints of coffee. It's like as if you roasted chocolate with coffee and vanilla. Okay. Wow. Good. Yeah. And here is, do you want to have a taste of this? This oh, is dude. raw chocolate. Okay. So it's the bean smashed. And before it's made into cocoa powder mm. or any other chocolate confectionery, um, this is what it looks like. Wow. Oh, it's and it, really it's, groovy. It's quite bitter. It's not, because yeah. everyone thinks of chocolate and they think luscious sweetness, but yeah. this is this is the raw ingredient and it does have that kind of bitter tone, but kind mm. of coffee-ish, there's bitterness, yeah. there's, yeah. This is my favorite ingredient. It's my number one superfood. It's sesame paste, okay. otherwise known as tahini. And if you're looking for a boost of energy, it's got loads of B vitamins. So okay. think B for brain, B for battery, B for Usain Bolt. Now, <laughs> let's work quickly here, Donald. Let's get it on. Okay, get it in, get it in. <laughs> get it in. This is get it in and get it on. <laughs> and look so at straight it. in. Straight in. And then sprinkle this on top and a bit more sea salt flakes, Donald, if mm, you want to help I will me definitely out. do that. So this is the raw chocolate. And look, I get all my ingredients in a health food store. Okay. Because they'll have everything there. But if you want, you can go to Middle Eastern stores and you'll get loads of date syrup for a fraction of the price. Okay. Because it's what they use all the time instead of sugar. And you'll also get tahini for a fraction of the price, say two or three quid for 500 grams. Okay, okay. okay. I mean, it, it's so simple. I mean, you see just all those ingredients being dumped into the pot and then being thrown out into this wonderful yeah. little dish. Uh -huh. What happens now? Freezer. Freezer, okay. Yeah. For how long? And a rave. And a rave. Oh, I like it. I like, I like cooking with you already. <laughs> so into the freezer, we're going to have a rave, two hours. Yeah, and, we're and then another party. Another party. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, what's going on over here? <laughs> I leave you for one minute in my kitchen. <laughs> this is amazing stuff. No, I was always curious. You know, this is your living kitchen, yeah. and I need to see what you're cooking with. Okay. It feels really, um, um, you know, it feels really uh, intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly scared that you're just wandering around my kitchen and pulling stuff out of my press. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure anyone who's watching would love to do the same thing. You know, it's a little bit creepy, but fine. Fine. So we have one that's come out of the freezer. It's yes. Very, very, very hard right yes. now. Like a toffee. So, like a toffee. Yeah. So what is the next step? I'm presuming. Okay. Well, up. serving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tasting, hopefully. Party for the taste buds. Oh, yeah, fantastic. party for the serotonin. Is this where the slam dunk comes in? This is where the slam dunk comes in. I'm very excited in. about this slam dunk of nutrition. I mean, it is a wonderful finish on something that is sweet, something that, and it's very nutritious as well. I mean, yeah. this is the brilliant. This is why I, I, I wanted know. to come into my kitchen. Well, and cook. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Can I taste it now? Please do. Oh, yeah. Please do. So it's creamy and fudgy, like a toffee, but it's also got that sweet, salty kick as well. And you look, you're gonna get about 30 or 40 portions from it, and it takes 60 seconds for me. Honestly, I'm blown away by that. It's wow. it's rich and it's creamy, and I never thought you'd get the texture. I never thought you'd get the texture. It's it's just like fudge. It's really 
luscious when you bite into it. And the best thing is those little cocoa nibs. You get this crunch in there as well. Oh, you do. Really yeah, tasty. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know I'd be so easily converted. <laughs> <laughs> but it is absolutely gorgeous. I want you to check out this recipe, guys. It is in the box below, but it's also in Susan Jane's brilliant book, The Extra Virgin Kitchen. So go over and check that out. If you want lots more brilliant recipes, click subscribe, give us a like and comment in the box below telling Susan Jane how brilliant her wonderful fudge is. Um, uh, but thank you so much for coming in. Oh, well, can I thank the computers yeah, as well? Them, and thank them. you for clicking in. Yay. See you soon. See you soon. Bye.